the Kinlock Bray chase is next. This is a grade two. And let's take a look at the full list. It's two and a half miles this time, and Matching Goidi is the top one for Leon van Rensburg. Lions Mayhem, uh, Access Prospector for Hems two and three, then Bobby XL for Graham Clutterbuck, front by middle, Town King in the nick of time, Joshua Sutherland, Moorland Overseer, David Robertson, Pavilion Bury, Darren Thompson, Sheritaki Stay, Paul O'Neill, Footprints, Leon van Rensburg, Grey Rose Bay, John Morgan, Lady Layla, Ryan Costello and Starbeck Mona, David Robertson, so 13 then in this, and away we go, and the Grey, Grey Rose Bay is the first to show with the other grey lady later at the back and there's a third grey as well that's moving into second and that's front by middle so getting their way towards the first of 13 fences then 13 fences 13 horses and oh he's gone at the very first fence grey rose bay just didn't bother jumping he just ran straight into it and jettisoned the jockey straight over his ears now john morgan's been saying these horses either win or fall over and he'll be tearing his hair out about that i would think because well Incredible. Just ran straight into the fence. Didn't even bother taking off. Well, it's left front by middle in the lead. We're in the nick of time second as they get to the second. And they're all over that one. With front by middle and in the nick of time. And Lions Mayhem and Match and Guidi. With Access Prospector tucked in in fifth. And just behind that one, the green sleeves and the red jacket of Shirataki stay as they get over the third. Which is a ditch. And they're all over that one safely with the loose horse showing the way. And jumping a lot better since he's not got a jockey on his back as well. They take the fourth. All over that one, okay. In front by middle. In front. In the nick of time, second. Machongoidi is third. And more than overseer in the purple and turquoise hoops. Yeah, Lions Mayhem as they take the next. Lions Mayhem this time was the one that made a mistake. And was overtaken in the air by footprints. Lady Layla still at the back. A few trainers got two in this. Front by middle is the leader. Well, in the nick of time, second. And then Leon van Rensburg pair match and Guidian's footprints. And Moreland Overseer for David Robertson has also got the last one in shot, Starbeck Mona. Although that isn't the back marker because Lady Layla is out of shot at this stage. So front by middle then is turning the pace a little bit, jumped back really nicely. Got away from it well as well. And it's good four lengths clear then. Going up past the stand past the winning post and out for another circuit of the track uh, front by middle chasing the loose horse in the lead in the nick of time is second uh, get back to matching goidi then more than here and footprints with pavilion bury and shirataki stay after that bobby xl racing quietly on the rail with access prospector just looking for a route through Starbeck Mona looks like it's gone. Oh, he's gone! The leader's gone again! And that's front by middle this time. So it's an amazing thing we're seeing this season. The amount of leading horses that have fallen when in front. And in the nick of time has been left in the precarious position of being in the lead. And being a sandwich between two loose greys at the moment as well. So a pretty eventful race so far then as they take this next one. And a mistake at the back there by Shirataki State. But it's in the nick of time who's in the lead. Pavillon Bury is moving up nicely in second. Then Matching Guidi and Moreland Overseer. Footprints is after that one. And then Lions Mayhem. Uh, in the nick of time. In the lead. By two as they take this next jump that one really well. So too did Lions Mayhem. Who's jumped up in a second. Matching Guidi is in third. And Pavillon Bury and Moreland's Overseer. And Starbeck Mona's trying to get into it as well. Footprints is still there. Look at Bobby XL trying to get into it as well. The race is really on there. And it's in the nick of time in the lead from Lions Mayhem. Then Metching Guidi. Then the David Robertson pair. Then comes Pavillon Bury and Bobby XL as they take the 11th. That's the third from home. And they all land over that one safely. The two loose horses are now dropping towards the back as the pace quickens. And in the nick of time is in the lead. But here comes Bobby XL and Starbeck Mona. Then Matching Guidi and Footprints. Then Lions Mayhem. They're racing down towards the final two fences. Then and over that one they go. And Bobby XL. 
XL jumps it best and goes on into the lead. It's Bobby XL from in the nick of time. Then Starbeck Mona's back in third. They race down towards the final fence. It's all going to come down to the jumping, I think. It's Bobby XL in the lead. In the nick of time is second. Then comes Starbeck Mona and Footprints and Matching Guidi. They race down towards the final fence in there. And it's Bobby XL in the lead. Bobby XL under the whip being driven into the final fence. Here comes Starbeck Mona on the outside. In the nick of time is fighting back. There won't be much of a run. It's Starbeck Mona in the lead. Starbeck Mona is racing now to the final fence. Gets over it nicely. Gets away from it well. Here comes Footprints chasing hard in second. It's Starbeck Mona though. Starbeck Mona is going to take it up. Oh, Starbeck Mona wins it. Footprints is second. In the nick of time third. Then Matching Guidi. Bobby XL dropped right out of it after the last. Lady Layla's coming round in her own time. And an exciting race there. And a win for David Robertson with Starbeck Mona who sat out the back and watched all the action from afar for most of the race. And then switched off the rail and came through to take it. Pretty good start. Beat some good sorts there as well, I think. So Starbeck Mona takes it for David Robertson. Footprints for Leon van Rensburg was second. In the nick of time, Joshua Sutherland was third. Much and goody, Leon van Rensburg was fourth. And Bobby XL for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.